What's going on, baseball community? Coach Jason with Arm Pitching Development. Tonight we are covering safe and effective pitches for youth pitchers, 9 through 14, or guys just learning and starting out uh, pitching. So this is going to be an excellent video for you guys knowing what are good pitches to throw when you're first starting out. First thing to note uh, is be aware of your pitching mechanics. I would learn a good foundation when you're first starting out as a young guy, especially 9, 10, 11, maybe even 12, however old uh, your athlete is. Uh, you want to learn how to pitch correctly first. This is going to help you tremendously on not hurting yourself or, or being less susceptible to injury in the long run. With that being said, I operate in a 60% rule. So we will not move on to another pitch here unless you're throwing that first pitch with 60% strike accuracy rate. So we put a big emphasis on accuracy here at RMPD. The first pitch that we learn out the gates is a traditional just four seam fastball. Four seam, you're just running along with the horseshoe here. With the seam, I try to take the cuts of my fingers and put that into the seam here so I can fill that a little bit better. Now the thumb is going to split my two fingers in half and I'm gonna have a little bit of spacing here behind that. If your hands are a little bit different or smaller, you may be choking the ball a little bit which is totally fine and as you grow and get older you can develop that a little bit further. As you're throwing your four seam, we want to drive behind this ball as best as possible, staying behind it and drive through the center of this four seam pitch to get a good straight uh, and accurate spin on the ball. So we want the four seam to be as straight as possible. The next pitch to talk about is the two seam fastball. On our two seam fastball, what we're gonna do is just put your fingers inside, just inside of the two seams here. And again, with your thumb splitting the middle, and then I tuck these two fingers uh, underneath. With the two seam pitch, we wanna stay just inside the ball here as we're coming through it versus uh, supinating the pitch. So anything that's going to be cut action is going to be a little bit laborious for your elbow and we're going to stay away from that for younger ages. Another thing to look out for is the thumb placement on the ball. If your thumb is up and off to the side, usually uh, you want to think of it as a locking mechanism. So if I'm locking off to the side of the ball, I'm going to want to release that lock off to the side and then now I'm going to have this twisting rotation, twisting action feeding into my elbow. So thumb underneath and staying inside, pronating the pitch and extending through uh, as best as possible is going to give you a nice uh, side spin to it and a nice uh, side run to it. Okay, following up with the two seam, I teach everybody, again going uh, with the 60% rule in mind, so we've passed the two seam, now we're going to go into a sinker grip. My sinker grip is a uh, one seam sinker. All I do is just split the difference here on the seam with the horseshoe in front and then I put my thumb on the bottom end of that seam. Again, with the action on this, I'm going to stay inside of it and maybe come through it just a little bit heavier with some pressure on my pointer finger here and come down through it. Just very subtle, you don't have to put much on it. Uh, staying behind it, just inside of it. And you'll have hopefully a nice good down and in run to a right-handed pitcher for right-handed guys or away for uh, lefties. Uh, just a traditional sinker pitch. There's other ways to throw this uh, sinker. You can come up on it a little bit heavier here. Uh, you'll want to work and experiment because all athletes are different and all athletes have different arm slots and arm angles that uh, make sense for their body. So let's make sure we're not, you know, trying to make this too cookie cutter and, and make sure that we're giving the athlete a little bit of freedom to explore on pitch design. Our last pitch for tonight is going to be a traditional changeup. Again, following the 60% rule, uh, we are going to put the ball inside of your, your bottom pinky finger and then wrap here. And then I take my pointer finger and put it off to the side 
and then I put my thumb down at the bottom uh, just in line with my uh, middle finger here. You'll see some spacing that I have here for my palm. And when I go to throw the pitch, again staying inside, but I try to go palm through first. So normal arm action, uh, treating it just like you would your fastballs and your sinkers. Same arm action, same arm speed coming through and we're gonna show the palm and then we're gonna pronate inside and let it spin off all the way through your pinky. So I get a nice gradual down and in bite to right-handed hitters for right-handed throwers and away from left-handed hitters. So when you're throwing this pitch and you're, you're teaching a younger guy to throw this pitch, keep an eye on uh, dropping the elbow here or short arm, short arming uh, the pitch. You wanna stay up elevation uh, through the elbow and get extended through the release point and pull down inside the pitch. Now, when we start short arming the ball, we start dropping the elbow and pushing the pitch through, uh, we get a less desired result than what we're actually looking for. So something to be aware of. So there's uh, four pitching grips uh, for youth guys out there when you're first starting out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video today. I really appreciate that. Hey, for uh, more pitching tips, drills, exercises, and workouts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. And also, if you like the content we shoot here, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And until I shoot the next video, I look forward to seeing you next time.